Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Player Mouse. We know that you cannot soak up mercury with a sponge. Mercury is a liquid metal and it just doesn't have the wetting properties to be absorbed by that sponge, or any sponge for that matter. So rather than a sponge, we'll try to soak it up today with a penny. If you take copper and tin, for example, and melt them together, you come up with an alloy called bronze. But if you take mercury and another metal and combine them, you have something called an amalgam. Now amalgams were all the rage a hundred years ago before they really understood how toxic it was. Now a lot of people know that mercury will amalgamate with gold and silver, but today we're going to show you how it combines and bonds to copper. Now because copper has an oxide layer on it, the mercury doesn't really want to have anything to do with this penny. Next we'll take a, it's about a 20% strength uh, solution of nitric acid and we'll put a heavy coat on this penny. And the purpose of that is just to show you the strength of this acid. But we can use the same acid solution as a flux if we use it very liberally. You'll see the oxide layer just dissolve away instantly. And this is very similar to soldering. That's how we pronounce it here. And uh, you'll see how the mercury now can actually combine and bond to the copper. And this is all taking place at just room temperature on a warm day, actually. But it's we're not adding extra heat or anything, though heating up would speed up the process a little bit. We'll swab it around a little bit, clean a little more of the oxidation off, and we can just completely coat that penny with the mercury. Now that this penny is tinned with mercury, you can see how well it just attracts more mercury to it. Now a hundred years ago, before they had epoxies, they would combine powdered copper with mercury and came up with this stuff called Viennese metal cement. And they would use it to fill teeth or make imitation gold jewelry or even mend porcelain and ceramics. If you enjoy videos about this unique element, mercury, I have a lot of videos showing simple demonstrations about its properties. A lot of educators would prefer to simply show a video rather than bring a dangerous heavy metal into their class. Even a single drop of mercury will break into many small beads and scatter over a very wide space, so a mercury spill is no laughing matter. I make a point of telling everyone, don't bring it into an occupied space. Thanks for watching. Sir, what you looking at me for? I give you one guess.